Welcome, my dear student, in our math program for secondary three. Today, we are taking second lesson in calculus differentiation. It's called differentiation of implicit and parametric function. My dear student, look at differentiation of parametric function. Look at my dear student, implicit and parametric differentiation. If we have implicit function y equal f of x, is determined the value of y directly. Whenever the value of x is known, such as my dear student, y equals 4x squared minus 5x plus 2. Then y dash 8x minus 5. What is the y? On y sine 2x plus 3, y dash equals 2 cosine 2x plus 3. But my dear student, if y related to the variable x with an equation containing x and y together, is xy plus y minus 4 equals 0 or x squared plus y squared minus 9 equals 0. Each equation defined an implicit relation between x and y. Note that the equation xy plus y minus 4 equals 0 can be written in the form by using y common factor, multiply x plus 1 equals 4. xy plus y minus 4 equals 0. We are taking y common factor, then y multiply bracket continues x plus 1 equals 4. y equals 4 over x plus 1. Look at my dear students, the first equation, xy plus y minus 4 equals 0. We can write this equation by other method. In left hand side y, right hand side x. y equals 4 over x plus 1. Don't forget, my dear student, x not equals negative 1. Why? Because if x equals negative 1, it's denominator 0. 4 over 0 and find has no function. This, in this case, my dear student, implicit relation is defined as implicit function. The equation x squared plus y squared equals 9 is the equation of a circle. Its center is the origin point and its radius equal what? 3 units. Look at my dear student, we have a circle, its center 0, 0, and its radius 3 cm. From testing the vertical line, we know the relation x squared plus y squared equals 9 doesn't represent a function. Why? What is the function, my dear student? Each element in X or each point in X has one image in Y. But, my dear student, in this case, Y squared equals 9 minus X squared. Y equals what? Positive or negative square root 9 minus X squared. The implicit function, the first Y equal square root, 9 minus x squared. Its domain closed interval negative 3, 3. Its range 0, 3. My dear student, if we have x squared plus y squared equals 9, represent equation of a circle. Center its origin point. Radius is 3. The implicit function first y equal, we have two functions, y positive or negative. Square root 9 minus x squared, the first is positive. Square root 9 minus x squared, 
its domain negative 3 3 its range 0 3 and its derivative or differentiation for each x belongs to negative 3 3 but the second y equals negative square root 9 minus x squared its domain negative 3 3 closed interval its range negative 3 0 and it is differentiable for each x belongs to open interval negative 3 3 my dear student now we are translate to example Find dy over dx over x power 3 plus y power 2 minus 7x plus 5y equals 8. Look at my dear student solution. First, x power 3, its derivative 3x three, power 2. y power 2, 2y dy over dx. Negative 7x. 5y, 5 dy over dx, derivative of constant equals 0. Then, by taking dy over dx highest common factor, then dy over dx multiply bracket contains 2y plus 5 equals 7 minus 3x squared in right hand side. Then, what is the value of dy over dx? dy over dx. 7 minus 3x squared over 2y plus 5. This derivative of the function respect to x. Another one. f3x is y plus y squared equals x minus 7. Find dy over dx. My dear student. If we have implicit function has a relation between x and y, the required dy over dx. We know that, my dear student, x squared plus y squared equals 9. This is equation of circle, but its center is origin point 0, 0, its radius equals 3 unit. My dear student, if we have function has x and y, the required dy over dx, maybe dy over dx is slope of the straight line. Straight line represented by equation. To find dy over dx, this is slope of a straight line. This important lesson, find dy over dx by using derivative respect to x. My dear student, look at the solution. Look at the solution. By differentiating the two sides of the equation with respect to x, dy over dx multiply 3xy or derivative of 3xy plus 2y dy over dx equals 2x. Then we deduce that derivative of 3xy, 3 is constant. But x, y is product of two functions. First derivative second plus second derivative first. What is the derivative of x, y? First x. What is the derivative of y? dy over dx. What is the derivative y? Derivative of x, 1 multiply 3 plus 2y dy over dx equals 2x. Then, by using highest common factor, dy over dx, multiply 3x plus 2y equal 2x minus 3y. Then, dy over dx in left hand side equals 2x minus 3y over 3x plus 2y. Another example. Find dy over dx f sine 2y equal y cosine 3x. My dear student, we have left hand side sine 2y and right hand side y cosine 3x. What is the derivative of sine 2y? x and student, sine its derivative cosine 
to y dy over dx. What is the derivative of right hand side y cosine three x? Yes, my dear student, excellent. First derivative second plus second derivative first. First y. Second, what is the derivative of cosine three x equals negative sine three x multiply three plus cosine three x multiply derivative of y equal what? X and student dy over dx. Look at solution. By differentiating both sides of equation with respect to x, my dear student, right left hand side differentiation of sine to y respect to x and differentiation right hand side respect to x. Then sine 2y, cosine 2y, multiply 2 dy over dx. Derivative of sine, cosine. Sine 2y, cosine 2y, multiply 2 dy over dx. Equals first derivative second plus second derivative first. y multiply bracket negative sine 3x times 3 plus cosine 3x dy over dx. Then dy over dx 2 cosine 2y cosine 3x inside bracket equals negative 3y sine 3x. Then we deduce that dy over dx equals negative 3y sine 3x over 2 cosine 2y plus cosine 3x or 3y sine 3x by taking highest common factor negative over cosine 3x minus 2 cosine 2y. Another example. Find dy over dx if 10 to x plus q 10 y equals x y. My dear student, look at the left hand side 10 to x. What is the derivative 10 respect to x? x student, 6 square 10 to x, 6 square to x multiply derivative of 2x is 2. What is the derivative of co 10? Yes, excellent student, negative cosec power 2. But this y, dy over dx. In the right hand side, we have xy. What is the derivative of xy, my dear student? Yes, this product of two function. First derivative second plus second derivative first. First x. What is the derivative of y? dy over dx plus second. What is the second? y. What is the derivative of x? 1. Then look at solution. By differentiating both sides of equation respect to x. Left hand side equals d over dx 10 to x plus d over dx co 10 y equal d over dx x y. In left hand side, answer is 2 sec power 2 to x minus cosec squared y dy over dx. Remember, don't forget my dear student, derivative of co 10 y equal negative cosec power 2 y dy over dx. Don't forget dy over dx. Most students forget dy do over dx. This is problem. If we have derivative respect to x, but function of y, cotan y, what is the derivative of cotan y? Negative cosec power 2y multiply dy over dx. 
in right hand side x derivative second y plus y derivative first x1. Then we have common factor dy over dx. Multiply bracket contains x plus cosec power 2y equal to sec power 2x minus y. Then by using dy over dx in left hand side equals to sec power 2x minus y over x plus cosec power 2y. My dear student, now we are translate to another title is called parametric differentiation. If y equals function in t and z function equals gt. We have two functions, y and z. y function of t, z gt. Which f and g has the same domain. The two equation together represent an equation to one curve expressed in parametric form dy over dx equals dy over dt times dt over dx. We have two functions, y function of t and the x function in t. The required dy over dx or differentiation y respect to x equals what? dy over dt at the first we find differentiation y respect to t and we find differentiation x respect to t then multiply dy over dt times dt over dx we did use that dy over dx or my dear student we can divide it dy over dt by dx over dt when f and g are two different functions with respect to t. Example. Find dy over dx if x equals 5t plus 3 and y equals 16 t squared plus 9, t equals 5. Solution. My dear student, if we have the first x equals 5t plus 3, what is dx over dt equals 5? dx over dt equals 5. My dear student, y equals 16 t squared plus 9, then dy over dt 32t. Then dy over dx equals dy over dt multiply dt over dx equals what? 32t over 5. By using t equals 5, then dy over dx equals 32. Then my dear student, by using dy over dt, multiply dt over dx equals 32 t over 5 by substitution about t equals 5, answer is 32. Another example. x equals 3 cosine 2 theta. y equals 4 sine 3 theta. Find dy over dx when theta equals pi over 4 or 45. My dear student, we have two functions, the first x derivative of theta, y derivative of theta, the required dy over dx. As the first, we find dx over d theta or derivative x respect to theta, and second derivative of y respect to two theta. After that, we can divide it or multiply. Look at the solution. 
When x equals 3 cosine 2 theta, dx over d theta equal 3x dy over d theta, 3x minus sine 2 theta times 2. This is dy over d theta. But dy over d theta equals negative 6 sine 2 theta. When d theta y4 sine 3 theta, then dy over d theta equals 12 cosine 3 theta. dy over dx, dy over d theta, multiply d theta over dx. Also, we find dy over dx negative 2 cosine 3 theta over sine 2 theta, when theta equals y over 4 or 45, dy over dx square root 2. Another example. Find the derivative of 4x power 3 minus 9x power 2 plus 5 respect to 3x square plus 7. My dear student, what you mean? Find the derivative of bracket contains 4x power 3 minus 9x square plus 5 with respect to bracket contains 3x square plus 7. Look at the solution. My dear student, by putting y function in x, then z function in x. The first is y. The second is z. y equals 4x power 3 minus 9x square plus 5. z, 3x square plus 7. Now we are find dy over dz by using derivative y respect to x and z respect to x. To find dy over dz, first, my dear student, y function of x, z equal gx. We have two functions, f of x, g of x. Then dy over dz equals y dash over z dash. Or first derivative of y over second derivative of z. What is the first? 12x squared minus 18x. What is the derivative of z? 6x. By using highest common factor, dy over dz from numerator, taking 6x highest common factor, multiply bracket 2x minus 3 over 6x, then answer is 2x minus 3. Therefore, d over d 3x squared plus 7, derivative respect to 4x squared, 4x bar 3 minus 4, 9, 9x squared plus 5 equals 2x minus 3. This derivative 4x power 3 minus 9x power 2 plus 5 respect to 3x power 2 plus 7. My dear student, if we have bracket 4x power 3 minus 9x squared plus 5 and the required find derivative respect to another bracket 3x squared plus 7, we must put the first bracket equals y function and the second bracket equals z and we find y dash over z dash or first derivative of y over first derivative of z, answer is 2x minus 3. My dear student, look at if we have function 
4 x power 3 minus 9 x square plus 5 we can represent by y function y function of x and another function 3 x squared plus 7 we represent by z function z equals 3 x squared plus 7 then what is that required my dear student find the derivative of 4 x power 3 minus x squared plus 5 respect to another bracket 3 x squared plus 7 how to find the derivative of bracket respect to bracket my dear student in this case we can put the first bracket equals y y equal f of x the second bracket equal z z equal g of x and in this case we find y dash over z dash what you mean y dash y dash derivative of y respect to x equals what 12x power 2 minus 18x or derivative of the first bracket what is that z dash or dz over dx 6x then by using y dash over z dash substitution about y dash substitution about z dash then the answer is 2x minus 3 this is called derivative of bracket respect to another bracket my dear student by the end of the lesson if we have parametric equation and find dy over dx in this case we must find dy over dt and dx over dt after that maybe find dy over dx by division dy over dt divided by dx over dt or dy over dt multiply dt over dx also if we have function y function in theta and x function of theta then the required dy over dx by using dy over d theta multiply d theta over dx or find dy over d theta divided by dx over d theta to calculate dy over dx remember my dear student this is very important in the next lessons dy how to find dy over dx by using measuring of angle between the tangent and x-axis how to find the point on the curve by using dy over dx this is very important lesson my dear student i'm very happy to spend such time with you thank you goodbye